If you're being asked for the reaction between fluorine and potassium bromide, then you're definitely studying single displacement reactions in school. The real question is, does the pure element fluorine is it higher in the activity series than whatever it would replace here, which is bromine? Now, halogens have their own activity series. Sometimes your teacher won't give it to you because it's the same order as it is in the periodic table. Fluorine is the most reactive halogen. Down, down, down. Iodine is the least reactive halogen, although some teachers will include astatine, and I think we have tennessine down below that now. These are the most common ones, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. So fluorine will always displace other halogens. Iodine will not. Iodine will get displaced more often than not. So what that means is that the fluorine will take the place of the bromide. I like drawing these arrows to show the F kicking the bromine out of its pairing with potassium. That means you end up with potassium and fluorine bonded together. I want to point out, potassium likes having a charge of plus one. It says so on the periodic table. It's in column one. Fluorine likes having a charge of minus one. It's in group 17. All the halogens like having a charge of minus one. So the chemical that is made, potassium fluoride, is just KF. Bromine, when it is ejected from this pairing becomes just elemental bromine, but elemental bromine is Br2. In fact, all of the halogens as an element are 2, 2, 2, 2. I belabored that because I've seen a lot of students say it was Kf2. That is not a real thing. A single F displaces the Br and you get Kf and then a Br2 is made. That actually means to balance it, you'd need two of these because one F is displacing each Br. And you'll need two KFs being produced because each F produces one of those as well. Nice. It's called a single displacement reaction because you have a single element displacing another in a compound. There you are, and best of luck. Actually, I'll finish this off with some states. Fluorine is a gas at room temperature. KBr is probably a solid, but your teacher might want you to write aqueous. I don't like writing aqueous for fluorine reactions because fluorine reacts with water. So like, why wouldn't it just react with the water first? But then that would mean that this is aqueous or a solid and then uh, bromine's a liquid at room temperature. Nice, all right, thanks for being with me and best of luck.